Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bhavne. So today I have come up with the new tutorial which is based upon the temperature sensor that is DS18B20 sensor. Now we are using this sensor. Now we are using this sensor because it has advantages as compared to DST11 sensors. So this is the data sheet for the DS18B20. Now here you can see the benefits and features of the sensor. Now this is unique one wire interface only. Now you don't need to use uh, so much of wires. And also you can see the major temperature range from minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. Now if you compare this sensor with the DST11 sensor, then this is much higher rating. The accuracy is plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Accuracy range from minus 10 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius, which is plus minus 0. Point. And also with the programmable resolution from 9 bit to 12 bit with no external component required. So this is the one wire sensor very easy to wire. You will also get the waterproof DS18 B20 sensor so that you can easily able to insert it in the liquid to measure the temperature. So here I am not using the waterproof sensor. I am just using the simple three here. I am not using the waterproof sensor here. I am just using the three leg sensor. Now we will configure the blink platform. Let's see. So first you need to create the template here. Here you can see I have created one template that is DS18 B20 temperature sensor. Now in order to create a template you need to click on new template. Here you can see and give the name and select your hardware and the connection type. Now you need to configure the template as well. Like you need to create data stream, web dashboard and mobile dashboard. So in my previous video I have explained step by step how to create everything. So you need to watch my previous video for creating data stream and web dashboard. So I will mention the link in the description box as well as in the i button. Now here you can see in the data stream I have created two data stream that is temperature in degree Celsius and temperature in Fahrenheit. So here you can see I have used two pins that is V0 and V1. So these are the virtual pins that we have used. Now go to the web dashboard. Here you can see I have choose two widgets that is gauge. One gauge is for temperature in degree Celsius and the another gauge is for temperature in Fahrenheit. So this is about the web dashboard. Now in order to configure the mobile dashboard we need to go to the mobile app. So I will configure the mobile dashboard for you. Let me go to the mobile dashboard. As you can see on the screen there are two templates DS18 B20 temperature sensor. Let's click on that. Now here you can see setup dashboard. Let's click on setup dashboard. Now what I'll do I'll just click on this top right corner and let's search for gauge and add the gauge. Click on gauge. Now click on that gauge once again and give the title. So I'll write title as temperature in C that is in degree Celsius. Select the data stream. So I'll select here data stream temperature in degree Celsius. You can select the color as well. Let's go back. Add one more gauge for temperature in Fahrenheit. Let's click on that. Give the title temperature in Fahrenheit. Go back. So we have successfully configured the mobile dashboard now. As you can see the same limit that we have given that is minus 55 to 125. Here you can see 0 to 255. Actually we need to do it here minus 67 to 255. Okay so we have successfully configured the mobile dashboard. Now we will see the most important part of this project that is circuit diagram and the coding. So this is the circuit diagram for the project. This is very easy circuit diagram. So here you can see the ground of the sensor is connected to the ground of the ESP32 board. The data pin which is the middle pin of the sensor is connected to the digital pin 13 of the board and the VCC pin which is the plus 5 volt supply or you can say V in pin of the ESP32 board. Very simple circuit diagram. Just do the connection. Now we will see the most important part of this project that is programming. Now in order to get in order now in order to read the temperature from the DS18 B20 sensor you need to install two libraries. What are those library? First one is one wire and the second one is Dallas temperature library. Now I will mention both the libraries inside the description box. Just download those library and just add the zip zip files to your Arduino IDE. Now how to add those? Let's go to the sketch. Here you can see include library and add zip library. So I will add all this library inside the description box. So now we have successfully declared the library here. Now how I've got this code. 
so you will get this code from the example code of the library so just go to the file go to the examples here you can see Dallas temperature library now here you can see you will get this code like if you click on simple you will get this code let me so here you can see this is the code that you can get and you can easily able to read the temperature from this so now I have just modified this code so that I can able to send this data to the blink IoT platform now let's see what I've done so this is the code that I have have for reading the temperature in degree Celsius and in the Fahrenheit you can see we have connected our DS1 at D20 sensor to digital bin 13 of the ESP32 board let's write 13 pin number here so now you will get all these things that is blink template added device name from your blink IoT platform let's go to the blink IoT platform go to the device and here you can see select your device and go to the info and this just copy this one required library for connecting with the blink IoT platform and the Wi-Fi now here you can see you need to provide your Wi-Fi SSID name and the password for the same now here we have created one function that is void sensor here you can see now I have not done anything inside it I have just copied everything like here is my basic code inside the void loop here you can see this is the basic code for reading temperature in Fahrenheit and the degree Celsius I have just copied this and paste it here inside the void sensor function now here you can see now I have created two variables that is one is for temperature in Celsius and one is for temperature in Fahrenheit like temp C and temp F now here you can see like sensors dot get temp C by index so this is responsible for getting temperature in degree Celsius so just toward just toward this value inside this variable so that's why I've declared variable that is temp in C now in order to get temperature in Fahrenheit you need to use this one sensors dot get temp F by index just copy this and paste it here you can see so you are storing the temperature in Fahrenheit in the variable that is temp F now you know that in order to send this value to the blink IT platform we need to write the virtual pins so here I am using two virtual pins that is V0 and V1 so V0 is for temperature in degree Celsius and V1 is for temperature in Fahrenheit so here you can see we have used the command that is blink dot virtual write V0 temp C and you know that temp C is storing the temperature in degree Celsius the same thing for V1 so virtual dot write temperature in Fahrenheit so this is the simple line of code that you need to modify so we have created the function that is void sensor now inside the void setup these are the same line of code that you will find everywhere and void loop this is also the same you don't need to do anything inside the void loop and inside the void setup so this is the simple code that you need to modify even if you don't understood anything just let me know inside the comment section so now I have already uploaded the same code inside the ESP32 board now let's see output on the serial monitor as well as on the blink platform let me connect my board so my device is connected now so I can show you my actual setup as you can see on the screen now I'll just click on serial monitor so now the temperature is 26.94 in degree Celsius and in Fahrenheit you can see 80.49 correct now and on the screen you can see the sensors LED is flashing just go to the devices and here you can see your device is online let's click on that now here you can see the values of temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit what I'll do I'll just increase the temperature by using the soldering iron let's see the changes on the dashboard as well now I'm just holding my soldering iron over the temperature sensor as you can see on the screen as well and the temperature is increasing now as you can see it's 27 degrees Celsius now in Fahrenheit it also increased it's 28 82 so the temperature is increasing as you can see on the screen it's 31 now it's 32 92 as you can see on the screen 
so this is how we can able to use ds18 b20 temperature sensor now this sensor has more accuracy as compared to the ds11 sensors now in order to measure the temperature of liquid then you can use ds18 b20 waterproof sensor and it also has higher accuracy as compared to dst11 temperature sensors if you found this video helpful for you then do subscribe the channel and like the video thanks for watching see you in the next video